Cantor crouched at the woman's side and removed his helmet. Cortez tried to read his face, but it betrayed no emotion. Jilen, said the chapter master. Can you hear me? The woman's eyes were closed, but her lips parted. Weakly, quietly, she said, they were so heavy. So heavy. Cantor nodded. Yes, he said. But you did well to bring them this far. Reaching out, he lifted the two smallest children away from her and gestured to the older children to take them. They did so, and Cantor turned back to the woman. The Emperor's mercy, thought Cortez. You should not have to do this, Pedro. It is my fault. It is my soul that should bear the stain. Before he could communicate this, Cantor spoke. It is time, he said, and he reached down to the woman with his gauntleted hands. Time that someone carried you now. As Cortez watched, the chapter master lifted the woman and stood to his full height, cradling her exhausted form in his arms. She looked so small and fragile against his sculpted ceramite chest, little more than a rag doll. Then the chapter master turned to Cortez and said over the link, Once we are among the trees, they will have a better chance. They are charges of the chapter now, and we cannot abandon them. Carrying the woman as if she weighed nothing at all, Cantor began striding for the distant tree line. Over the link he added, Help the children, Alessio. Help them get to cover quickly. The suns will be up within moments. Cortez looked down at the children. Their clothes were torn and stained with the dirt of their nighttime trek. But, in eyes of the three eldest at least, he could see a fierce spark and recognized it as the will to live. <laughs>